Hey all, it's Nardi and Chris. Chris, and uh, we're at Crab Apple Kitchen in Hawthorne. This is the Daily Espresso, short shots of big ideas, and we're really excited to bring uh, today's topic to everyone, uh, which is automation. Automation, automate to advance your business. Automate to advance and get your life back, uh, and take your business to its to its, its highest highs. Um, so let's 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 run through. Chris, you want to start off with uh, your initial your initial question to get the ball rolling? Let's do it. So, Nadi, why is automation so important in business and perhaps specifically in cafes? Thanks, mate. Uh, awesome question and one I, I really love because I think the uh, the secret to some high performing businesses that we've worked with is uh, how they've automated. Um, mundane parts of their business or automated parts of their business which don't uh, add sales, um, you know, add, add, increase that sales line. So automation in any business, especially in restaurants and cafes is huge because what we find in, in the restaurant and cafe industry is after hours, the owner of the cafe or restaurant is stuck doing the paperwork, stuck doing the books, jumping on uh, their accounting system or whatever it might be or writing it out in a book and, um, and, and taking uh, themselves away from things that really matter, their family, uh, their, you know, marketing their business, improving their product, um, engaging and, and, and you know, motivating their team. So automation is absolutely vital uh, in the day-to-day -day operations of your business and the first thing you need to do is look at um, what you're doing really often that does not add big value to your end result, your end goal. Uh, and Write a, write a hit list of things that you need to automate your business. Um, the, this example is not. Yeah, sorry, I was waiting for you to jump in and ask me an awesome <laughs> question. Um, Give us some examples. Examples, yeah. So where would I start if I was you guys? And uh, it, it's, it's something that probably adds absolutely no value uh, to your business um, on a day-to-day -day basis, and that's your accounting, and that's your back end. Um, and where would I start with that? I would start by looking at your accounting system. Are you using a cloud-based accounting system? Uh, is it accessible by your account advisor? Um, do they have watchful eyes over it or your bookkeeper? Um, and is the information real-time and live? Do you know what your sales were yesterday? Do you know uh, what your profit and loss was yesterday? Uh, that's, a, that's, a big, that's a big thing to automate. Uh, so that's number one. The other one is then automating every single bit of document or data that goes into that accounting system. So to, in order to get to a you know, almost real-time status of, uh, of your accounting system, uh, you should be focusing on how you're getting that info in. Now, most cafes and restaurant owners I know sit there and punch in all the information or put it in a, in a shoebox and wait the end of the month or the end of the end of the quarter to give it to their, their accountant who will then go and punch it in and charge them on an hourly basis or every six minutes. God help you all if you're still in that position. Um, the fact of the matter is for the cost of, you know, I don't know, a third of a coffee a day or a coffee a day, uh, you guys would be able to automate that entire bookkeeping and accounting process, saving you cost and time on bookkeeping, saving you cost and time on actually doing it all yourself. Um, the the, the you know, big one is what we use, something called Receipt Bank, which is a, uh, an application. Thanks, mate, we're good for coffee. Um, but uh, an application where you literally- Love the service. Yeah, yeah love the software. <laughs> Crab Apple Kitchen's one of our faves. Um, you know, you get your supplier invoice, bang, you get your phone out, you just take a snap, you know, take a snap of it, and it's not just the owner, you can um, you can get your, uh, your employees involved as well, uh, or your managers, take a photo of the invoice, that then gets um, book kept, uh, the, a, a picture of the docu a document, a picture of the document is saved into your zero against that transaction, and the GST stripped out. We all know in the restaurant cafe industry that not every transaction's got GST on it. In fact, a lot of the raw produce and perishable goods that you buy don't have GST on it. So capturing it and the, and the, and the, the people hours required to punch in the exact GST component is massive. So automating that function, just think of how many times you have to function or how much you're spending getting a bookkeeper to just punch in numbers. It's useless, it's wasteful, you should not be doing it. Replace it for, you know, anywhere from a dollar to three or four dollars a day. Uh, replace that, get an automated system in place, get your time back, spend more time on your business, spend more time 
with your family, spend more time with those that most the ma ma matter the most to you, uh, and uh, and and you know, push for success. Um, so to wrap up, we're really uh, really appreciative of the questions, and we've actually got a couple of questions that were uh, we're gonna answer. So thanks. So jump in, add your com add in the comment section questions for future, um, and we'll be sure to answer them. So Nani, the first one comes from Ben Walker. Ben Shout out, Benny. Know, ben wants to know: Can you claim? as a deduction, coffees from a local cafe during work hours. So for anyone who doesn't know, Ben Walker's an accountant up in Brisbane. Um, love him, he's, uh, yeah, he's, he's absolutely inspirational. His firm's called Inspire CA, he's doing really wonderful things. Good stuff, Benny. Um, actually has a cafe in his accounting firm, so uh, you know, he's a, He's, he's, uh, you know, we, we enjoy ch chatting with Ben, um, and, and Ben's kind of uh, really trying to you know, just get the, get the buttons going here, so good stuff, Benny. Um, uh, the short answer is, if, you, if you're sitting in, um, if you're going and sitting and having a cafe meeting, and having a meeting in a cafe and buying coffees or food, um, unfortunately, the ATO doesn't like that, and unfortunately, uh, the way the tax laws have been written, state that that's not deductible to you, right? They call it entertainment, right? They call it entertainment, and unfortunately you can't claim it. But, um, I'm just gonna throw a side one out to you. If you do a takeaway coffee, and you take it back to the office, um, and your boss is paying for it, all right, now we're, we're hopefully let's speak, let's speak to some entrepreneurs here instead of employees. If you're the owner of, of, um, of a cafe, and you're going out, and you're actually having uh, having a coffee somewhere. Yeah. Well, no, well, that that if you're doing it if you're doing a takeaway coffee, well, and, and consuming it back on your premises, well, that's potentially deductible because it's based on the sustenance and it's based on um, you know typical refreshments, and that's kind of good. Uh, I mean, without going into too much detail of fringe benefit tax and where where you can be hit if you're a non-cafe business, but also if you're a cafe business going out doing what we're doing. Uh, or sorry, you know, this, this it could potentially be classed under some some sort of research or some sort of um, uh, some some work related to that. So what I would say is really circumstantial, depending on the kind of business. I like to think that I'm talking to uh, you know a, a broad range of businesses at the moment when I answer this question and say, look, unfortunately, if you go out to a cafe with your team to have a coffee, have a coffee meeting, or even your clients, unfortunately, it's not going to be tax deductible. But you know, sometimes having that little takeaway cup. And, uh, and bring it back into the office it might get you over that line and I'm, I'm pretty confident that it would for you guys so that's uh, that's that's one thing and thanks Benny thanks for thanks for getting the uh, thanks for bringing me back into the tax world <laughs> and our second one is from Harvey Penne and thanks Harvey for your uh, for jumping in um, Harvey wants to know what's a good profit margin Nadi, for a cafe and what have you seen the more profitable cafes do differently than a less profitable cafe Wow what, am, what, what, what an awesome question! And uh, Harves, thanks, mate. You've, you've, you've shot right to the, you've shot right to the big one, the meaty question. Um, if look, if we we see a range of different results, uh, net profit margin. So basically, is whatever your profit is uh, divided by your um, your sales, your revenue. We've seen anywhere from you know seven to twenty percent uh, and upwards of that for some of the high performers. So, I mean, look, the, the high performers are hitting the bigger than the 20% 20, uh, 20 mark, so the amount that they're keeping, all right, the profit that they're allocating to themselves at the end of all their expenses is 20%, so 80% is going to all your costs and, of your revenue, and 20% of your revenue goes into, uh, goes into the profit bank. Um, look, I mean, what are they doing? They're ahead of the game. They've got an amazing product. They're continually developing their product. Um, they provide an amazing experience. And in the cafe and restaurant space, it's not just about how awesome this stuff here, right? This, li this liquid gold in there, but it's also about the experience. It's also about the service. It's also about having that team engaged and making sure that they represent the value. And what we're seeing is that the awesome cafes out there, that are restaurants that are doing amazing stuff, and not just the flavor of the month, they've built themselves to be an institution. And once they've done that, they've created systems, they've created processes and procedures within their own team. And I'm not saying, you know, that uh, everything's automated, but I'm saying they've covered off on all the right things. They haven't got themselves involved in the stuff that adds no value to the end result of the business, and they've gone and um, they've gone and smashed the lights out. So, and that's that's what they that, that yeah that's what the high performing businesses are doing. So, if you're out there, your business, your cafe, or restaurant, um, 
focus on the stuff that needs to change. Focus on the stuff that's got highest impact on your bottom line, highest impact towards your brand, highest impact on team engagement, and that's ultimately going to push you towards building an amazing business that is shooting the lights out, that's hitting 20 plus percent profits. And as we know, and I'll get to this because we haven't spoken about value of, of the business, but uh, cafes and restaurants are valued based on profit and what they call earnings before interest and tax. And there's a multiplication of that. And that's how someone comes up with a valuation of what your cafe or restaurant's worth. And the higher the profit, the higher the value. And the higher value, the higher your worth in that business and the higher your net worth and the higher it is that you get of the payback when that final payback day comes and you sell that cafe or restaurant. Um, so look, if, you, if you're within seven and 20, uh, if you're at seven, you need to focus on your sales and focus on what's going on in your expense line. If you're at 20, you're doing, you're doing great. Um, look at what you're doing so well, see if there's any area of improvement. Um, if you're doing above that, well, well done to you, hats off. Um, you yeah, know, we want to work with you. Um, but uh, yeah, well, thanks, thanks for those two awesome questions. Really, really pleased to, to be able to, uh, to answer them uh, live today. Um, yeah, so yeah, thanks, cheers. And um, yeah, so that's, that's, thanks again for, a, uh, for tuning in again. I can see you know, there's a, a number of people jumping on. Shout out to Melanie, Duncan Goyes, love you. And uh, hope your husband's uh, restaurant's doing awesome in, in, the, in the city. I hear it's his second. I hope it's doing really well. We've got to pop in one day and uh, enjoy the awesome, uh, I think it's a rooftop uh, restaurant. Can't wait to hit it. And shout out to Mario all the way from, uh, from Portugal. Uh, obrigado, mate. Um, and thanks very much, guys. We'll, uh, we'll see you tomorrow. This is uh, Daily Espresso, short shots of big ideas. Nardi. Hey. We'll see you later. Cheers.